that was up down and is on the rise, like uh, Delray Beach and Newark. Come on up. It's a beautiful room. <laughs> and it's a great honor and pleasure to get the opportunity to introduce our keynote speaker today. The Honorable Cory Booker is the mayor of Newark, New Jersey, the largest city in the state of New Jersey. Cory Booker's passion for politics and justice was instilled at an early age by a family committed to change. His parents successfully fought against racial discrimination and shattered the corporate ceiling, inspiring him to pursue a life of breaking barriers and working for change. Mayor Booker received his bachelor's and master's degree from Stanford University, a bachelor's degree in modern history at Oxford University as a Rhodes Scholar, and completed his law degree at Yale University. But he still says that he received his best education from the people of Newark, New Jersey. Mayor Booker began work on realizing a bold vision for the city. Newark's mission is to set a national standard for urban transformation by marshalling its resources to achieve security, economic abundance, and an environment that is nurturing and empowering for individuals and families. Mayor Booker and his team have more than doubled the rate of affordable housing production, created the city's largest expansion of parks and recreation spaces in over a century, brought more than a billion dollars of new economic development into the city, including the first new hotels under construction in the city's downtown in over 40 years, and the first new office tower under construction in over 20 years. He and his team have attracted new large businesses to relocate their national and international headquarters to Newark, companies like Panasonic, Audible.com, and others. Through the city's Economic Development Corporation, he created a small and mid-sized business loan program that has helped over 50 businesses start or expand. Mayor Cory Booker has also attracted national attention for his education reform efforts. Already succeeding and significantly expanding high quality public education options for families and leading in the creation of new strong educational and career development opportunities for Newark's toughest youth. Mayor Booker and his team have led with the innovations for youth and families, including New Jersey's first youth and community courts, and the creation of a network of grassroots financial and family apartment centers in 14 neighborhoods throughout the city. Recognizing the dignity Word and limitless potential of all people. Mayor Booker has led in his creation of an innovative network of resources and programs for men and women coming home from incarceration, dramatically driving down the recidivism rates for, for those involved. Mayor Booker has also gained wide attention for his implementation and usage of new technologies ranging from creating the state's largest wireless network of crime-fighting technologies to raising the bar on customer service using social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter. I follow you on Twitter. <laughs> Cory Booker lives his politics, ladies and gentlemen. In the summer of 1999, he went on a 10-day hunger strike in one of the most drug-infested housing complexes in Newark an effort that resulted in increased police presence and improved security for residents. For five months in 2000, Booker took to the streets. He lived in a motorhome and parked it on the worst drug corners in the city, inspiring residents and businesses to fight against drug dealing and crime. <laughs> Time Magazine called him the savior of Newark. And he proved to the city and the nation that he is dedicated to fighting inner city problems. On television and Twitter, we learned about his selfless service and heroic leadership. Last year, he returned home one evening, find flames shooting out of his neighbor's home. A woman screamed that her daughter was still inside. The mayor and two of his security detail ran inside, rescued the woman. He carried her out of the building over his shoulder. The woman was treated for smoke inhalation, then released. And most recently, putting himself in the shoes of millions of Americans, 
to know what it feels like to be on food stamps. He lives his politics, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Fast becoming recognized as one of the one of America's rising cities of hope and promise. Mayor Booker's leadership and significant civic strides have been recognized by numerous magazines and other media outlets, including being named to the 2011 Time 100 as one of the most influential people in the world. America, the future is here. The future is now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Put your hands together and help me welcome our friend, the mayor of the United States, the people of the the mayor of the United States, 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 and on, on a few things. First of all, uh, Congressman Deutsch uh, broke the cardinal rule in politics. I was told this growing up, you never to choose voluntarily to go after a man who was raised in a black church. <laughs> it was not voluntary. It was not voluntary. <laughs> so this is the kind of self-sacrificing leadership you all have here in Florida. I own a solid free parking in Newark. <laughs> Let me know when you land in Newark Airport, there'll be police there to greet you. <laughs> um, listen, I, I feel uh, incredible to be here. Um, uh, Lois, Congresswoman, you, uh, first I joked with her when she came down, she said as soon as she stopped being mayor, her hair stopped turning gray. It made me really want to run for the United States Senate because maybe I'll get my hair to grow back. <laughs> Uh, Congressman Murphy's got, he's like getting too much of me. He uh, was there last night at another event. I thank him for that friendship. It's great to see him here. Incredibly generous words. It's nice to be here with you. You guys didn't see me. We did the mayor's secret handshake before. Uh, uh, it's nice to be uh, one of your number. Thank you very much. Uh, and, and you know, Mayor Brown, I want to start with where you said, first of all, uh, I'm glad you were on the offensive line and not the defensive line. That would have been very intimidating if we ever played Purdue. Um, uh, and, and I see you got the note about the haircut. You know, we learned this in football. You're more streamlined, more, more aer aerodynamic when you have no, you have no hair. And, and we're productive men. We don't have to waste all that time and money on shampoo. But I, I want to pick up right where he left off because he was talking about communities that were impacted and this is something that the reason why I'm proud to be a Democrat. There's this wonderful moment in New York City where uh, the Crown Heights riots were going on, and the then Mayor Dinkins goes to see the Lubavitcher Rebbe uh, and to plead to him and says, we've got to find a way to bring our two communities together. And the Lubavitcher Rebbe, this, this, this esteemed man with these crystal clear blue eyes, looks at the then mayor and says, you're wrong. No, we don't. And, and the mayor says, what are you talking about? He goes, sir, we need to find a way to bring our one community together. So speak in the ethos of the Democratic Party, we understand the importance of the Declaration of Independence, but we also recognize the story of America screams towards a declaration of interdependence, yes. where we need each other, we rely on each other, like that old saying, that old proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone, yes. if you want to go far, go together. Yes. This is the Democratic Party. We are the party of we, not the party of me. Yes. We understand yes. 